Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is week 0 update for the left side of my greenhouse So 2 days ago, you guys watched the right side So today I'll be recording the left side And again, same situation uh, They lack water, they lack nutrients during the period that my family was away for an emergency Quite a number of them grew some wonkiness Also at the same time, it could be probably a good thing Because they sort of go back a few steps and now that I start from week zero it's sort of like a perfect time to start fresh <laughs> of course not for all of them so the last update that you guys saw for most of the plants here was on the 31st January a few of them have different dates but mostly are on the 31st January so this is one of them I'll be starting from the leftmost of the left side so this is the Monstera Aransoniae means Europe so as you can see all the variegated patterns like this Two months ago, this was the latest leaf that you guys saw that had this wonkiness and the, this was only a leaf coming out from the shoot and it was still unfurled. So in that two months, oh, it grew all the way up, up and away. Amazing. So it's kind of um, quite, quite a lot of leaves, a slightly more than 10 leaves I think. Or maybe just nice 10 leaves. <laughs> so anyway, the majority did not get as... Um, you know, as mature compared to the Aurea but yeah, uh, I mean it went through lack of water and also lack of nutrients so this is only normal so hopefully now that I'm keeping up with the watering it will continue maturing more and more so yeah, this is the latest one that's coming out um, hard to tell the majority I hope that this one does not only get to this size too <laughs> maybe it's not maturing because this is already fully matured <laughs> but I don't think that is hopefully <laughs> all right so just to show this is the top part of it the variegation is not um, obvious yet there's already a new leaf forming here very very fast grower and then moving on to the philodendron yopii so this yopii the last one that you guys saw on the 31st January was this leaf, it was still expanding Yeah, now I have to hold the camera way back Because it got quite big actually And then after this, in the 2 months, it actually grew this one It did not grow that many though So I'm guessing this is quite a slow grower maybe Yeah, this one it grew Yeah, with the sinus not as um, symmetrical but better than this and then this is the latest one so in the two months it only expanded this fully grew this leaf and then this is the latest one so maybe because of the lack of water period I'm guessing that this is going to take a step back so maybe it will desize slightly or you know demature slightly which I will have to <laughs> go through there's no choice and yep still very flimsy and there it is the sinus is almost fully symmetrical yep and this is a little shoot here and then moving on to the philodendron squamiferum so this plant you guys saw this um again ignore the hygrometer this is very very inaccurate so the last that you guys saw of this uh, was on the 16th march so it was when i reported this so when i reported this there were only five leaves plus one shoot so the five leaves were this is the original one one two three four five so that five and then one shoot uh, the leaf is already out here so i am expecting it to stay wonky like this it won't fully mature because of the reporting yep but the size is quite decent despite it not being you know able to go fully proper for the leaf and there's already a new shoot growing there You can see the tip, the new tip coming out from the old sheath Yep And then moving on to the Philodendron Vericosum The one that you guys saw last of these was when I reported this which was on the 6th of February And this was part of the original plant that I bought it from and then this was still unfurling yeah, so because of the reporting, that's why it's um, wonky like this and it's remaining like this way. So yeah, it's only natural that it desize. That's the first leaf that comes up from my house, I think. 
and yep so small like this and look at the size up from that although because of that period the dry period it came out wonky like this and damaged yep and then moving on to the monstera Legleriana variegated one of my most <laughs> anticipated plants that like, i really really cannot wait to see this mature so anyway the last that you guys saw again on the 31st january two months ago was this leaf that just came out and there was no new shoot yet this was just freshly out so in two months it grew this this and this the latest one the consistency of the variegation is very very wonderful i really 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 love the variegation on this plant oh man look at that and already um there's slightly new shoot coming out already and then moving on to the philodendron strawberry shake this one this one is quite sad actually <laughs> the picture that you guys are looking at now is actually on the 31st january before i reported it was only these two leaves when i reported that's why you see this new leaf coming out wonky like this and then just so happen that it goes through the dry period that's why you can see the tea sizing being like this and the fabrication is actually not too bad yeah so this is officially the first leaf that is out during the proper period yeah it kind of stopped growing after this leaf it did not come out a new leaf for quite some time until i started to water it properly and take care of it properly now yeah. now that the you know that period is over so yeah this is the first proper leaf thankfully can't wait to see what it looks like <laughs> And then moving on to the Monstera Escaleto. This one is growing really, really well. I mean, despite the dry period, it's still growing perfectly. So what you guys saw in the picture on the 31st of January was these two leaves being the latest one. And then this was just a leaf unfurled out of the shoot though. So yeah, it grew this leaf and then it grew that leaf. And then it grew this leaf. This one was really a shocker because it upsized a lot from this. This, this is actually quite small. I think it decides slightly. And then this, it just threw out this one. This is about 60 cm long. So hard for me to capture the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And this new unfurled leaf is actually way bigger, I think. Yeah, it's already almost the same length as this one. So you can only imagine how much more is going to expand once it's fully unfurled <laughs> man i'm so happy for this yeah i did not expect it to get uh, i mean you can compare it to the the leaf below it it's much wider as well uh, then you can see the fenestrations are actually kind of much bigger compared to this you can see all the fenestrations are quite small right yeah even on that side yeah, but for this one, you see all the fenestrations are amazing. I'm just so happy that this is maturing well. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm guessing because, you know, it, the media took longer to dry compared to the others. So even through the dry period, it did not get too bad, maybe. And then moving on to the Anturium Warukinum. So... So two months ago, you guys saw this is only a tree leafer and a new shoot was coming out. So that new shoot threw out this leaf. So yep, during the bad period, it threw out a, not a nice looking leaf. And because of the dry period, the two leaves, the two old leaves died. So again, one, it went through a bad period and two, maybe the temperature in here is not uh, suitable for this. So like I said, for the VGI, I will have to rectify the temperature problem, but it's only for a few hours during the evening. So yeah, it's pretty hard to settle it. Still, you know, wondering how I'll be doing it. <laughs> and then moving on to the Philodendron Melanochrysum. So two months ago, uh, you guys saw this only having a new leaf out unfurled and that new leaf already unfurled into this the first new leaf after the propagation yeah as mentioned in my propagation video for this uh, i chose the one that did not have the best um growth <laughs> and then during the dry period so it threw out this leaf very very wonky and then it threw out this dead leaf now yep but this is officially the first new leaf coming out during a better period so yep 
I'm keeping up with the maintenance so I hope that it stops being wonky and grow properly from now on and then moving on to the Philodendron Paraiso Verde so two months ago what you guys saw was this one being the latest leaf with a little bit of the next leaf out from the shoot it was out this much so the new leaf unfold into this beautiful big leaf and then it grew this one and then it upsized to this leaf guys look at my hand and look at the leaf <laughs> oh yeah recently i saw an aurea version of the pariso verde on facebook and it was so seriously why you can just imagine sort of like the pattern on variegated bility but on the pariso verde instead it was so so beautiful i really really hope i can get my hands on one <laughs> and then after this i thought this was it and then now it threw out this giant leaf <laughs> yep so it's um in comparison uh on camera it doesn't look much bigger than the left one but it actually is it's just the angle and even the sinus look at the sign the sinus is one <laughs> Oh man, this is so beautiful and this was going through dry period guys Yep, and the new shoot there I'm not sure how big it's going to get and I feel that this plant went through quite a severe period for the dry period because This plant is actually almost um, root bounded uh, So you can see the amount of roots. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure whether it's root bounded but I did not manage to tuck the media in properly because of how much roots there were when I reported this so there are quite a lot of um, empty space in there which is actually bothering me but I really cannot do anything so it, this pot is actually very very light compared to the other pots <sighs> it severely lacks media that's why it dries very very quickly so all the leaves at the bottom actually droops a lot in a few days yeah, because of you no, know, they need water so I will have to keep up watering this more than usual but it's just you know simple and it goes the same for the glorious and Florida beauty so I have three pots to water more regularly than the others and as you can see the roots at the bottom here uh, I will trim it someday but it's still growing though it's getting into the drain now so I'm only afraid that it might attach itself onto the pond liner in the drain so I will have to constantly move this until I'm ready to cut it and then next one is the Monstera Borsigiana Elbow Last you guys saw was this one This is the latest one and then there was a new shoot coming out from here So this was the leaf that was unfurling Very very beautiful And then this is the new leaf after that Again the variegation really maintains really really beautifully And then this is the latest leaf You guys can see at the back there yeah, quite clustered in here so slightly hard to, for me to show I'm not going to open it that much but uh, I don't think this will have that much um, dark green on it It's going to be lighter green yeah. Look at that, I, uh, let me just show it like this, so sorry yeah. So I'm, I really can't wait for this to grow tall so that you know all the leaves are more sporadic and it's easier for me to show And then moving on to the Philodendron Splendid in the picture two months ago, this was just coming out from the shoot. Yeah, it, very, it got very, very crispy because that was, I think, the period that it just got repotted and then it went through, you know, lack of water and also it did not get bigger or rather it did not get better. I mean, the leaf is softer and this one, this one is very crispy. You can see all these creases. And yep, there's the latest leaf after so long. Um, not sure whether it's going to grow proper, but it looks quite sizable though. Somehow this one looks like a sashimi So yeah, in two months it just grew this leaf and this leaf And this new one is very very slow, I mean understandable again Lack of water and nutrients And then moving on to the Philodendron Patricia This one grew very slowly too, you guys saw this was still expanding And then the next leaf it threw out a very long and much more mature leaf Look at the difference yeah, I was very excited but then, you know, because of what we went through 
It threw out its leaves, so it's been like this since. It will never open because it is very, very crispy. And the reason why it grew this way was you, this sheaf was what it came out from. But this sheaf is long, right? But how it grew was it was all at the bottom there. Yeah, so all this leaf got stuck here, so it became one huge lump over there. Yeah, so all this at the top was empty, so all the whole leaf was here. So basically, it grew into a swirl in here. Yep, <laughs> so that's why it came out all like this. Very, very crispy. Uh, there's no hope for this leaf actually. And yep, already a new shoot here. Yeah, so hoping that it continues growing properly, but I'm guessing that it won't grow as big as this yet. And then the last one is the Philodendron Brantianum. Alright, so you guys saw the original one on the 6th of February, yeah, after the reporting. And then actually behind it, there was already a new leaf coming out, or rather a new shoot coming out. And that new shoot became this one. Yep, and then it grew and grew. But yep, this is through the dry period. As you can see, the wonkiness maintains. <laughs> this is very, very crispy. <laughs> And then this is a new leaf. So, um, yeah, it, it actually grew quite slow for a Brantianum. But I'm guessing this is part of the leaf that won't be proper, maybe. Yeah, but there's already a new leaf coming out there. So, yeah, looking forward to this one growing properly. I kept seeing a lot of mature forms of this one, and it's so, so beautiful, guys. Alright guys, so that's the end of the week zero update for the left side of the greenhouse. Let's see how it grows. Bye!